just followed you in, right? Why? If his is a that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any... ...shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention.
help over there. Sounds like there's a man down. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. <sighs> Name's Horowitz. I... Oh, ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? Uh, a threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. <sighs> I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Uh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Roop can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. This Wells guy can't be far. Those must be the clocks he was talking about.
Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Let's go. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and its clocks all the way down. Find a way around. Let me see. So, you came down here for an altered item? The anchor, yeah. Langston said it'd be a simple item to treat. But the power of that thing had. I've never seen anything like it. That's O'Neill. Shit.
We sealed the door on the way out. We couldn't let it get out into the Bureau. I'll need to come deal with that altered item later. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. When it was clear we couldn't contain the altered item, Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got out, but Hiss was waiting for us. I took Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job. Just keep going straight. Come on. The motel court is on the other side of logistics. Horowitz should still be there.
Let's go. Hold on. Something's wrong with him. Shit. Harwoods. Oh, God. You hit motherfuckers, fucker! He's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there.
This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks.
1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello. I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. 
It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated, away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Get it? 69. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him.
wasn't wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. object at all times or it deviates my shift replacement never showed up can you help me damn i can't i'm sorry there's an emergency i'll come back i promise okay okay just don't forget i can't stare at this thing much longer That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it.
Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Out with the TV. Now I can find Dylan.
villain. He's so close. here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. See my brother. No. All right, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about this. <laughs> Casper said she could come, too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to, but she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not... End of session. If I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes, they can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Hey, 
listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. like the board, but I can't understand it. seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. 
I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Do you like working at the FPC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them... Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives, knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. 
I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. You have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall with her CIA spy shit. God. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad pennies. The Rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope. Just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Good to think of it. The song should have gone back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, back to work. Good to have you back. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. The proper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There were six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Hey, watch yourself out there. us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on a need-to-know basis. Well, I need to fucking know. I'm an upper-level executive, damn it.
Happiness comes. You are a worm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the white. You've always been a new huge walkers to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls. You are a worm through time. Shit. Who distorts you? That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I am your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide more. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. 
but only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a arm through time. You are a arm through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls with yellow and red. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls get yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror of the inverted is near right. Leave your inside by the door. Push your fingers through the surface. Director restored HRA production. They're already getting other supporters. So how's it looking out there? I think Hello, Jesse. How are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. I'm fine. What can you tell me? Is he still. Human? Or is he his? I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total his takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. But again, this is new territory for me. I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm gonna shut down this slide projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. Better that than what Dylan is now. I'm shutting it down. This has to end. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Emily. <laughs>